salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh bala msiza mwenna baganda bafe wana uwanga liyo kubeda nga otulaba yenze sakoz farok kakati wano wendi ndi, ndi wano uh, baji, baji ta islamic society of boston culture center isbcc isbcc um, yeyo baganda wange uh, jembalaga yeyo jubula bao uh, muziki tigwa manji nyo uh, waneno Mchivuga Boston, one of the biggest mosques uh, wano Mchivuga Boston. Tuwa gala tukulage nti ebifo bino uh, mwebili musasare uh, tukena kuba tukalaga ama sinzizo agenja ulo. Biggest, biggest, biggest uh, churches, biggest mosques uh, mu, mu America. Mwinzo kudeyo noro oza, tia ah, avantu peyo tivaina dini. My dear, no, 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 no. Siwe chiri, siwe chiri. Kati tuwa, tugenda kula ga ebi nito. Gwe muna anga uoboze uh, uh, mbibuga angavi no. Otegero mzikiti. Uh, mzikiti wejiri. Obama chachi wegali. Obama kerezia wegali. Obama kanisa. Jega sangiwa. Yonda tugenda kubanga tukula ga ebi nito. Ebi nja ulo oberenga otegera. So tugenda kubata wogira kona wa siram. Uh, batu uvuli de, bichibi bako lawano, uh, bichi ngabbo, umuzi kitigu noguli kuchi. Uh, Evi ntungebio tuperenga tutegera, ensonga, ngabo ezitambula. Tugendeko ni machachi, ochitegera. E, tuogedeko na wa, na wa sumba, tuogedeko ni wa father, tuogedeko na wa ntu, abe nja uro, okuberanga, evi ntu. Tutuagalo utu uke msosate ngazinu, otandike kwe kwa asa. Nti atenze chachi sima nyuwe li. Nti atenze umuzi kiti sima nyuwe guli. No, no. No, tuagala kula ganti ensizi no ziri mwe dini Ochitegera, kati uwe nyu wako uwe nyu wa mwerilo no limba avantu Tinze sila wanga chachi e, Sima yu nalimu wa Amerika sara wa kumuzikiti Sima yu nalimu wa Amerika sara wa kuku chachi Sima yu nalimu wa Amerika sara wa kuku kerezi ya uweka nisa My dear, tewa kulimba Ensizi no tuagala balaga Tiziri mwe bintu wino Umutu wa jenu natandiko kusulawe vya dini ye Hava limba, hava wa iriza Freedom Mweri, abantu wa sinza, buli omwe uliwa dembo kusinza chokolachi, chokolididam. So, mwe bale nyo mwe badala, mje tugende, tuwerenga tugeda, echindako. Allah! Imam, Imam um, Ahmed. Ahmed. Ahmed Dari. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa How are you? I'm well, alhamdulillah. You good? Yes. Uh, what's the name? What's the name of this place? So the name of this uh, mosque, it's called the uh, uh, ISBCC. Islamiki Society of yes, Boston yes. Culture. Control Center. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And I've been here 33 ice. years. 33? 33 years. You've been here? Yes. 33 years. Yes. You You're from where? I'm from I'm from Senegal, West Africa. Oh, Dakar. Dakar. <laughs> I know I know Al Hajj Diof. Oh yeah. You know Al Hajj Diof? I, I, yes. I, well, I, I've heard of him, but I don't know him. I know Senegalese. Uh, so many Senegalese. I know Sadia Mane is also from. Oh yeah, he's from there. He's also from. Yes, yes. He has been. Yes, yes, inshallah. Yes. I appreciate. Hope, yes. There are so many. I think uh, Senegal. Yeah. There, there are so many Muslims in yeah, oh, Senegal. Oh yeah, ninety like ninety five percent. The Muslim? Yeah. Oh yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay, so kind of introduce uh, yourself and what you do here. Yeah, so my name is Ahmed Barry, and mm. uh, I'm currently the uh, temporary Imam of okay. this masjid. Okay. I lead Maghrib and Isha. Okay. I also lead in many other mosques okay. in the Boston area, mm. and I also give the khutbah on Fridays, uh, depending on where I'm invited. Mm. And I mostly just lead the prayers, I lead the salah, and, okay. uh, and give khutbahs. Okay. And I also help new converts when they become Muslim. Mm. I, I guide them on how to become more knowledgeable about Islam okay. and more practicing. Mm. And also I do marriages and uh, general questions answering about Islam and family issues. Or, mm. yeah. So how did you get this uh, 
uh, this chance of being the acting, uh, acting imam for such a big place? Well, um, well alhamdulillah, uh, I'm, I'm well known as one. Hmm. I've been in this community for 33 years. 33 years? Yeah. From Senegal Street? From Senegal, yeah. Okay. And, and also, alhamdulillah, I, I know the Quran. Okay. So definitely, that's one of the qualifications. Mm. You have to know the Quran mm. to be able to recite and lead okay. the people okay. in prayers. Mm. So I was asked to lead the prayers until the Imam comes back. Then mm. I also lead the Taraway in other mosques mm. in doing Ramadan. So one of the reasons why I've come to this place, yeah. actually I didn't know uh, that we have uh, a big mosque in yes. uh, Boston, yeah. a big mosque. I think this is the biggest, right? It is actually the biggest in New England. New this England, is the biggest? Yeah, out of five states. Yes, it's the biggest. It's a big mosque. Really? Yes. This is the biggest? Yes, $25 million to build this mosque. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. So uh, last time when I came, I uh, didn't get a chance to, uh, to know all these places. They mm -hmm. told me you have no mosques in America. There's no Muslims, like staunch, staunch Muslims in America. There's no deen in America. Um, what's your take up about that? Oh, there's Dean here, mm. um, and actually here in particular in, in Massachusetts, mm. we have just here this this city. This is Boston. Mm. We have uh, uh, just here in Roxbury, mm. which is a part of Boston. We okay. have uh, uh, four mosques here. Four mosques. Four. We have four in total. Are you for real? They're all within a, one mile and a half. Yes. And actually, do you know mm. there's a Ugandan mosque too. Where? There's a large Ugandan community here okay. in a town called Waltham. Waltham. And there they have an imam, and I believe the imam is Ugandan. They have a, they have a nice, beautiful mosque there in Waltham. Oh, really? Waltham, Massachusetts, yes. Oh. Oh, yeah. I didn't know. Yeah. So, uh, which means uh, it's not true that in America there's no deen, according yeah. to you? Well, there's deen. There's deen because people migrate here yeah. from all over the country, mm. from all over the world. Yeah. So, uh, Automatically, people come, they're Muslims, so they're going to have to find places to pray. So there's deen here. Mm. Uh, if you mean like practicing the deen. Yeah, um, practicing. Practicing-wise, I mean, most Muslims here, they pray five times a day. Mm. The, they try to pray at the mosque. Mm. Um, we have, uh, I mean, practicing, it's, it's no different than any other country, actually. I mean, I've traveled to Africa. Mm. What do people do in Africa? Hmm. They come to the mosque, they pray, they go back to their daily lives. Yeah. So it's the same thing everywhere. The deen is the same everywhere. Hmm. Yeah. But here they say people are busy with shifts and shifts, so they don't get time to come to the mosque. Yeah. Is, is that true? Uh, it's true. It's true. And that's not, it's not just here. I mean, hmm. even in Africa. Um, <laughs> even in <laughs> so, Africa? Even in Africa. Okay. Um, but but here, in Africa, we don't have uh, too much schedules like you guys decide. Yes, sure. So here, people are busier here than, than anywhere. Mm. And, but it's for those who choose to be busy. If you choose to make time for Allah, mm. uh, then Allah will make a way for you. Mm. And uh, you have to have a balance. Mm. And you have to have balance between mm. this world and the next world. Because human beings were created for two worlds, mm. this Akhirah and the Jannah. Yeah. There's nothing, and this is why we were created, to, mm. to worship Allah in this world mm. and to be rewarded in Jannah. So those who have time, they come, they pray, and just like everyone else, yeah, mm. pretty much. Yeah. Okay. How has been your experience uh, uh, as a Muslim leader in the society, it, and uh, more so in America? Um, so, you know, Islam mm. uh, was very foreign to mm. the people um, back in the 90s yeah. and then when 2001 obviously when uh, because of the terrorist attacks yeah. in New York yeah. then people became more aware of Islam mm. but in a negative way yeah true yeah and uh, which makes sense you know what the media does and uh, you know it was a very very tough time for mm. Muslims then mm. but then throughout the years people studied Islam because so they studied Islam so as a result of that Many many Americans are becoming Muslim. We have mm. a, many many African Americans, Black Americans becoming Muslim. Really? We have the Hispanics; they become Muslims. Okay. We have the white Caucasians become Muslims. Mm. We have Chinese becoming Muslim. Yeah. So there's a lot of dawah here, and mm. uh, because people in this country, 
they are they are very curious people. Mm. They 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 want to know things, and so when people study Islam, they see it's different what what mm. the media is portraying it to be. Then they become Muslim. Okay, how have you managed to unite a Muslim this in the community? I'm sorry, repeat that again. How have you managed to unite the uh, uh, the, uh, the the Muslims in the community? Yeah. So Alhamdulillah, As, mm. one way obviously is by establishing the prayers in the mosque, mm. right? Because when people come to the mosque. That's unity right there. Okay. And what we usually do also, we have Friday night programs, mm. and we would invite a guest speaker. He would come and give us a lecture, mm. yeah, and uh, and that's one way to unite. And also, we have uh, uh, cultural events. So cultural we, would, events. we would invite um, cultures from all all over the world. Mm. They would come and bring their their own dish. Mm. So that's another way. Eid is one way, and mm. uh, weddings, we have weddings here, mm. and uh, baby showers, akikas, we would okay. usually ask, ask those are what some of the ways we, mm. we get the people to come together. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what are some of the other activities that take place around this mosque, like, uh, I mean, teaching the, 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 the teaching Quran to the young ones, yeah. do you have all those activities in the area? Or? Yeah, so Alhamdulillah, mm. in this mosque, SBCC, to the best of my knowledge, they do have a weekend school for Programs. the children. Mm. Yeah, and also uh, also for for people who are interested in learning about Islam, mm. which they have, is Islam it, 101. Is the place open? Oh yeah, yeah. They have they give classes for um, okay. Islam 101. These are for like, like I said, people from just from the streets. They would walk into the mosque. They want to learn about Islam. Mm. So we, they they take these classes. It's mm. I believe it's probably a six week or eight week course. Mm. And actually, a lot of them do end up becoming Muslim. Mm. Yeah. Uh, do you have some challenges like uh, like when you look at Africa? Our mosques, they always have challenges, finance, finance, finance. Yeah. Uh, your mosque, they said that they're different for ours? Yeah, I mean, um, usually, you know, uh, yeah, it's a little different here. Mm. Um, I mean, finance, you mean? Yeah, because uh, in Africa, when uh, you, you always hear imams say, please, we need this to build this, we need money to foot this bill. Yeah. Do you have all, also yeah, some challenges? Yeah, that's, uh, that's this everywhere. Side? Yeah, that's, that's here everywhere? too we have that. Even um, in America? It's even in America because, you know, this country is very expensive, you know. Yeah. It's not like uh, building, building, remember, this mosque is 25 million to build. So 25 million? 25 million. So imagine in Africa. Are you serious? Yeah, you can probably be build about maybe uh, at least 10 masjids this size. For yeah, that of amount of money, right? Yeah. So it's very expensive. That's labor is very high. Money. That's why they. Uh, that's why America goes to China to make stuff and then they import it here because the labor is cheaper there. So the challenge we do have challenges where sometimes we would need to build houses or. Um, so we would ask. We would have a fundraiser. Mm. Yeah. So we usually have fundraisers to help fund. Yeah. Mm. That's how we usually. Mm. That's how the most usually generate money. Yeah, Any plans donations. for? Do you have uh, uh, plans for those who uh, who come in the area and they have nowhere to sleep, they have no food? Do you have plans for such people here? Um, that's a good question. Mm. I don't think uh, any other mosque have that, has that. Um, that, and that and that's re the reason for that because this country is a very uh, there's there are um, there are actually uh, help. Mm. resources yeah. for people who do need that. Mm. And it's not the mosque, but just the government as a general, mm. they do provide, they have plenty of resources for people who need homes, people who need, who can't find places to stay. But the mosque they, themselves, they don't No way. That. I don't think they you do. You cannot yeah. get accommodation from here? No, you cannot get accommodation oh. from the mosque. Because okay. the mosque is, it's a place of worship. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's not for... Yeah. So if you start like mixing home, people staying, then they turn into a home and you know. Okay. So the mosques are really just a place of worship. Okay. What's the seating capacity of this mosque? I think here 1,200. 1,200? Yes. It can accommodate a lot of people. Yeah. 12, okay. yeah. Do you mind if you take us around and show us? Yeah. So um, this is the, uh, as you can see, this mm. is the main mosallah. Uh, uh, this is the main prayer hall for the men. Yeah. And if you want to take. Uh, okay. How about that? This is all for the men. Okay. Yeah. And then you have upstairs for the sisters. Upstairs? Yeah. So that's for the sisters. Oh. And that area is for the sisters until, except for Fridays. Then it's Which for one? the brothers. That area. This one? Because you see the barrier? Yeah. Yeah. 
for the sisters? Yes, yeah, so the sisters is here. Okay. During the week, except for Juma. Okay. Yeah, uh, Juma day then this is removed and becomes the brothers. Okay. Then usually the sisters upstairs. And up, then you up, have, up. Yep, yeah, then you have here. Hmm. You have the brothers. Okay. This is the brothers, also brothers area. Okay. And... It's big. Yeah, it's a big place. It's really big. Yeah. And so as you can see, the restaurant is. Your, it has a restaurant. Yeah. Oh my God! Sure. It has a restaurant. So you can eat from here. Yes, you can eat. <laughs> <laughs> this is America. Yes, yeah, America. So the mosque has a, a restaurant, a yep. big, big, mm -hmm. big, big restaurant. Yes. yes. Okay. What else do you we have? have the, okay. Here's the beautiful thing about this country, right? Okay. okay. So we have a good brother. Salam Okay. Uh, brother Hashem, uh, he's from uh, he's from uh, Jordan. Jordan. He's a student here. Okay. And uh, you have brother Cameron. Okay. And. Uh, Welcome, salam. And uh, forgive me your name. Dayan. Dayan. Brother Dayan. From. In, uh, from. Uh, his original background is from Haiti, but I believe you're born here, right? No, 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 no. I was born in Haiti. But you're born in Haiti, so. And then I came. Uh, okay. So, you see, so he's from brothers from Haiti, brothers hmm. from America, okay. brothers from Jordan, and brothers from Africa. That's the unity. Yeah, this is the beauty of America. Everyone yeah. that you find that people from all walks. The of land life. of the free. Yeah, you have. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So this is the restaurant. So yeah, this is Nice the, uh, meeting you, brother. Yeah. Welcome, salam. Yeah. So this is the so restaurant. So you have the restaurant here. Okay. So you can come and eat from here? Yes, of course. Okay. Yeah. How is your program during Ramadan? How, how does it run? Oh, beautiful. Um, yeah. The, the Ramadan period, how is it? Is it different from ours in Africa? Um, well, no. The it's experience. Exactly. Yeah, because uh, let's go out where it's a lot of okay. a little quieter. All yeah, right, Uncle all Sorry. right, all right, yeah. all right, guys. So I was asking um, uh, your experience during Ramadan period. Mm -hmm. Is it uh, different from uh, ours in Africa? Um, yes, it's a little different in Africa. Yeah. Um, actually, you know, I've not done Ramadan in Africa. You've never. No, no. So actually, I take that back. But here yeah. we do have iftar. Iftar. Yeah. Uh -huh. At the mosque. Yeah. I don't know about Africa. No, they don't have. See, that's what I thought. <laughs> so here we have food here. You give you give out food. Yes, the mosque do give out food. Okay, during Ramadan. Yeah, every night in Ramadan. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think I should come this side because you give out. No, food. America is a good country. It's a good country. Yeah, for sure. Africa is. I love Africa too, but America is a good country. Okay. I've ever been to Uganda. Oh yeah. Where exactly? Kampala. Kampala. You you had come to do what? I actually I was invited there twice. Okay. Mm -hmm. How was Friend? it? How was it? Uh, I would I would live there. You would live there. I would live. There. <laughs> but. But I, I mean, this is home. But <laughs> there's uh, Uganda. Is, I, I don't come to America. Uh, Uganda is a place to be. No. Oh yeah. Please, Imam Ahmed. Please. No. People should come. Ugandans are very nice people. Okay. Very intelligent. Okay. Very, uh, they're amazing people. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Uh, how do you describe Africa? Africa? Yeah. yeah Africa is good. You know, Africa is the future. Is the future? Yes. Really? And you decide. You're supposed to come to Africa. Africa is the future. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, thank you for everything, Imam. Uh, it was a pleasure meeting you. Yes. Thank you so much. Next time I'll come to Dhaka. I think I need to go to Dhaka. There are so many Muslims. You told me Senegal has so many Muslims. Oh, yeah. Econ from that side. Yeah. Isn't it? Yes. Econ from there. Al Hajj Diof, yeah. Sadio Mani. Yeah. There are so many Muslims. Big, yeah. big, big oh, yeah. Muslims. Yeah. So, your last word to, to the people who are watching you from Africa and all over the world. What, what was that? my last word? Yeah, your last, your last one. Okay, be a good Muslim. Mm. Worship Allah wherever you are, mm. because his life is short. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you, my brother? Alhamdulillah, doing well. Where are you from? I'm from Sudan originally. <laughs> Which I, Sudan? There are two Sudans. Yeah. The, well, now yeah, because of the, the split, I'm the north. South, yes, South Sudan. from the north. Yes. You're from the north? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why did you leave South? Why did you leave Sudan? Well, the reason, I mean, I, I came here very young. My parents came here and they came for the opportunity. Okay. Um, you know, Sudan, the economy is not do, doing too well, so they came here. Okay. Uh, and I grew up in this country. Okay. 
I've, I've got here the mosque. Uh, what do you do for the community here? The, I've talked to the imam and told me you're doing a great job in the community. So what you do? So I work for an organization uh, called ICNA Relief, okay. the Islamic Circle of North America yeah. Relief. Mm -hmm. uh, and we provide social services for, for the Muslims uh, in the, in the local community here yeah. you know hunger prevention we try to help out with food okay we do food distributions uh, we do three each month okay um, and we serve about 250 families 250 250 families that's yes, a yes. lot and that all all in the local community okay um, and we also help uh, the refuge we have refugee services we help the refugees that recently came mm. a lot of them came from Afghanistan and okay. now recently we had people from uh, Ukraine okay. as well yeah. Yeah. So, you know, we help them with clothing and, and trying to help them get settled in mm -hmm. as, as newcomers. Uh, okay. We also have other things, you know, we help people with financial assistance. For example, some people need help with their bills and, and rent and these sorts you of things. You also do that? Yes, yes. So we, we give out some, some financial aid. It's not too much, but yeah. something to help them okay. for the time being. Uh, there are other services that we do nationally in yeah. the U.S., but yeah. those are all of the local services. Okay. Yeah. So do you, do you extend these services to outside outside USA, like you extend these services to Africa, like where you come from, yeah. like South Sudan, South yeah. Sudan and Norway? Do you extend these services to African countries or outside USA? So our, our chapter, um, ICNA Relief, it mm. deals locally here within um, America. Yeah, and it, within America, it's a national organization. Mm. But our sister organization, uh, Helping Hands Relief and Development, is it works internationally okay. in many different regions. A lot of regions in uh, Africa, uh, not Sudan particularly, mm. uh, but for example, we have uh, in Somalia, and uh, yeah, and then yes, all of the the re for example Saudi Arabia, like Yemen area, that, yeah. that we've been helping out a lot over there, mm. and then Europe, Albania, and these regions. Mm. So that this is a sister organization to ours. It mm. it also falls under the parent organization, mm. ICNA, Islamic Circle of North America. Okay. Yes. So uh, for me particularly, like, like I said, we do nas uh, national work, local work here. Mm. Uh, we don't go outside. You don't go outside. No. So when I'm here. You, you hope when I'm here. Yes. When I'm not here, yes. no way. <laughs> <laughs> when you're not here, our sister organization can help, inshallah. <laughs> but when I'm here, we will help you. You will help yes, me. Yes, yes. All right. Thank yes. you so much. No problem. Thank you. <laughs> do, you, do, you do you give out these services during Ramadan or you give out any, any time? The whole year. Actually, in Ramadan, we give out even more services. We help the masajid distribute the zakat. Mm. Uh, and we also have Ramadan food baskets that we give out in the beginning of Ramadan oh. with coupons like for halal meat. Mm. Um, so d during Ramadan, we do a lot more work, but okay. we do work year round. Who qualify to be served by you guys? Anyone that needs help, uh, really. <laughs> yes, uh, you know, for example, for, you know, for housing and these sorts of things, uh, for helping with the, the bill, mm -hmm. we need verification for that. Okay. But everything else, for example, the food and, and um, the clothing and these sorts of anyone that comes and asks, we try mm -hmm. to help them. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for the service. Thank you for helping the community. Uh, 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 I hope you don't, co you, you don't help only the Muslim. You hope... The, yeah. the, the, the whole society, right? No, no. So actually, if I, if I were to give you the list of our, our food pantry, mm. uh, the, the people that come, 60% uh, is non-Muslim. <laughs> really? 60%. That's good. So a lot of non-Muslims come, and okay. it's actually a big opportunity for Dawah to share mm. Islam with them. Okay. So we, we don't just discriminate to the Muslims, mm. but we try to help our Muslims first, you okay. know, with halal meat, mm. with uh, qurbani when it's time for Eid al-Adha, we give them, you mm. know, uh, meat as well. Mm. So we, we focus on them, but oh, anyone else that, that, uh, that needs help, we try to help them. How long have you been doing this? So me, I started uh, uh, two years now. Two years. Uh, but this organization has been since 1995, actually. Oh. Uh, yeah, the, the Boston chapter has, uh, been, has been established in 2010. Mm. Do, you, yeah. do you offer education or just, uh, just food, food? Yeah, well, so these are the social services that we offer, but we also just moved into our new resource center, mm. uh, which is actually right here behind the masjid. Okay. Uh, and we have programs now. Mm. One of the programs is uh, for young Muslims, uh, mm. you know, people in the ages of uh, 15 to 25. So we have a program for them. We have a halakha, mm. right? I actually lead the halakha. Okay. And then we have a discussion on it, you mm. know. So that uh, we have other programs similar to that. Okay. 
Uh, but for the most part, like I said, we help with social services. How can people get you? Like so, get your organization? Because people, some people yeah. you might find, some people are stuck here in the US and they don't know and then you never know. Yeah. So um, the, the easiest way to access us would be to go to icnarelief.org. Uh, and then you can see all of the chapters there mm. and the locations, you know, the address. We have our office here. Okay. Uh, you know, if you're local, mm. 257 Roxbury Street in mm. uh, Roxbury, Massachusetts. Okay. And then, if, like I said, if you're in any other state, go to ignorelief.org and you can find the, the local chapter. Thank you so much. Thank yes. you so much. How has been your experience here in America compared to Africa? Well, alhamdulillah, we say, alhamdulillah, <laughs> you know, uh, every place, like I told you, brother, every place has, you know, the, the good things and the bad things. Of course. Uh, you just have to take the good and leave the bad. Is there challenges yes. here in the USA? Or yes, of course. Smooth? Of course, there's challenges. <laughs> <laughs> like in terms of what? Winter or what? Uh, no, not that, you know, for example, like, you know, for if you want to raise a family here, it's hard because there's a, no, no, it's 100% it's true. Back home, you have all your family there. <laughs> The whole village here raises you. Here it's hard. Here you have to take care of them by yourself. Really? <laughs> <laughs> so you prefer where? Where do you prefer? If I if I had the option, yeah. If I had the, I would go back to Sudan. <laughs> <laughs> if I could work there, it would, that would be my first top and you choice. You have no but, option, right? But no option, so we uh, have to remain uh, here. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, brother. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Uh, nice meeting you. Jazakallah khair. Thank you, thank yeah, you. No, nice thank you for the good job you're doing. No, Jazakallah khair. Thank you.